as Lori Tim. Um, in college, I competed as Lori Hardrick before I got married. Um, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I specialized in the triple jump, uh, ran the four by one and the four by two relays, and I did a little long jump in the beginning of my career. All right, I have to ask off script, what is the triple jump? That seems like that's hard. Um, traditionally, it's called like the hop step jump. It's two jumps on one leg, one jump on the next. It's it's challenging, but it's <laughs> the best one. So. so what would be your Black History theme song? What's the first thing that came to mind when you read that, that question? Um, the first thing that came to mind was the song Glory okay. from the movie um, Selma. Okay. That just seemed to encompass everything that I feel is Black History Month it, from the top. To, and then I read the lyrics too, and I thought, yep, this is it. This is it. But when I first read it, that was the first one that came to mind. I'm going to have to check that out. I don't think I, I don't think I remember that. And then talk about what would be your favorite memory from your time running? Um, it was one of the pictures that I sent you okay. at the end. Um, in high school, I competed in club track. Okay. And then my freshman year, when I got here at Outdoor Big Tens, there was a former teammate from my club track. She was four years older than me. So I was a freshman, so you was a senior. And it was finals in the triple jump, and I had made finals. And she was standing on the side, like next to my teammates, like right next to the runway, cheering for me. And it was Wow. It was powerful because she was from, you know, the Ohio State University. She wasn't even a gopher. So I have someone here from a completely another or different school standing with my coach and my teammates cheering for me and rooting for me like, get up here, you can do it. Like almost egging me on to beat her. Um, and my parents were in the stands and my teammates were around and it was that was a powerful moment because it was just it was like womanhood kind of coming together and community and family and she ended up winning but I ended up placing second so it was it was a nice moment first black female vice president yeah that was um emotional that was that was a powerful thing to see I have a young daughter in elementary school so I wanted her to see put your mind to it do something if you want you can do what you want to do and then years not even that long prior we had the first african-american president which was amazing to see i mean who thought we would really see that in our lifetime i don't think we probably would have expected to see that in our lifetime right which is a sad situation to actually say but to have those two things happen so close together it, it leads me back to the word hope that despite all of the injustices and the negatives that we still feel, these people were voted into office. And that shows that there's there's some positivity, there is some hope happening, so. So you had a young daughter. This is yes. video. It will be archived somewhere. Yes. What's the message to her? Okay. You are powerful, you are amazing, you can do whatever you want, you're beautiful inside and out. Um, that's making me emotional. Uh, people like you for who you are and continue to be who you are. Same thing to my son too.